We're getting ready to go to a monastery that's very ancient. It's near Bahshika. It's called Marmetti. Now, that and another village called Merge is hosting 55 families, um, displaced and some from the village. So what we're going to do, we're going to give them um, food. Remember, there's no jobs, there's no economy. So this is the number one thing why not they need. Abuna, Abuna Polis did a really good job here. So I'm going to it. It's not that he organized everything and he got us this bag ready. Bag of food. This is southern Nineveh Plains. This is the first time that we are here. It's, uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just a crazy feeling. We're here to help uh, some of the families uh, with the food. There are 55 families here. We're collaborating with the Abuna. We're, we're taking care of 30, and he's taking care of 25 families. Some of them have, uh, have been coming back, but since they're so far from everything, they're basically in that gray zone between the KRG and the ISIS line, so no one is helping them. So we're gonna take care of them today. We got them all bags of food. Here it is, right here. Each family is gonna get a bag of food and um, you know, make it better for these couple days. Oh, Look what beautiful things this civilization used to build. Look at this. This is just remarkable. And to think now, this country right now is just destroyed before this is what they used to build. There's the mountain that's separating ISIS from the Peshmerga. Right after that mountain is ISIS, behind that mountain. And these are the villages that we just visited, Magara and Nerge, this one. This right here is southern Nineveh Plains. It's a very foggy morning. And these are the villages that we just visited down there. And this is Marmetti. Ghost Town. This village was um, created five years ago by Saki Sahajan to accommodate families who fled Mosul back in 2008. So now it's empty. All the families have fled and um, are staying in tents, actually, in uh, near the hook. There's no ISIS here, but they're close. They're 10 minutes away. So that's why there's lots of families are too scared to come here, to, to come back to their villages, because they're scared what happened in, you know, in, in other places might happen to them here and get trapped. There's only a one-way street here. So if ISIS just intercepts that street, then they would be caught. 
but it's crazy. Street after street of emptiness. No life, no sign of life. Empty streets after empty streets. Complete silence. 